What's going on, YouTube? Every time I'm talking to y'all, I'm either working or at home. So, let me just, because I know it's been a while, let me catch y'all up on some things. So, yes, I'm still fighting for my son. I got to get, y'all know, when it comes to my subject with my son, I have to have a cigarette. Um, so... I'm still fighting the case with my son and after everybody in the state of Texas telling me oh you can't file a uh, you can't file a report you can't do this you can't do that you can't I call the state of Texas I, I think they're they're gonna probably try to say that I'm a nuisance because I call the state of Texas every day And they just passed a new law concerning children and I called and when I called you know I explained to the police like hey look I have called the courthouse been to the courthouse I done did this I done did everything that they asked me to do first of all let me just say this you lawyers out there you lawyers the only reason why you charge so much is because of your mouthpiece. Understand this, people. Everything that a lawyer do in court, you can do it too. You don't need no lawyer. Let me say that again. Everything that a lawyer does in court, you can do it too. It's called going to a legal library and picking up a book and reading. With that being said, I'm not telling people to go out and not get a lawyer because at the same time, even though I'm doing this by myself, I still want a lawyer. But know that in my arguments when I go back up in front of the judge again, I want him to not directly talk to my lawyer, but directly talk to me. Put it in layman's terms for me, because these judges will screw you. Now, I'm sorry y'all, I like to eat ice. With that being said, I called the police station. They finally, finally took a case number, took a report, gave me a case number. So now I have to go back to the legal library because now by me calling the state of Texas, they told me, well, oh, you done filed a report. Are you going to press charges? Yes, I am. Oh, okay. Well, you have to either get a lawyer or you have to get a pro bono lawyer or someone from legal aid and they have to motion it back up into court. No. No. You could go to the law library. And every paperwork that the, that a lawyer does, you can do. You just have to pay for it out of your own pocket. That's the only thing you're paying the lawyer for. You're paying the lawyer to file your paperwork. So, when I get off of work today, guess where I'm going? To the legal library. It's been four years. I'm going to count away to this truck go past. It's been four years since I seen my son. He's seven now. And with him being seven years old, I know he has access to an iPad, a phone, a computer, something with technology. 
So my message is not only just for YouTube, but my message is for my son too. Rodney Griffin, despite what your sisters and your dad have told you, I am still alive and I am still fighting for you. Do not let them lie to you and tell them that your mom is dead because I am not. That's the most hurtful part because they told my son that I was dead. And I know once I motion everything back into court, they're going to lie and say they never told my son that. Well, just because I get a new phone don't mean that I don't save everything. And just because you get a new phone number doesn't mean that that conversation has been deleted. I still have the conversation. In the text message from Candace Griffin, Rodney Griffin's older sister, who, by the way, lost her mother and turned around and told her baby brother that his mom is dead and yet here I am still fighting four years later to get him back so Rodney just know that mommy loves you your sisters Sydney, Brittany, Whitney and Courtney they love you we all miss you and mommy is still fighting to get you home.